My name is Active Pudding, and today I'm here to teach you how to install Sweet Effects, which is a tool to uh, basically change the colors, the uh, any other thing of your game. You know, just improve the overall appearance. So the first thing you want to do is obviously uh, get Sweet Effects over at Nexus Mods. So you're going to go to Files, and then you're going to want to get one of these versions. Usually it's going to be 1.4 or 1.5, but it depends on what kind of preset you choose. So let's say I wanted to get something for Battlefield. I go down the list here, Battlefield 3, and I find one that I want. Let's say Ice KK's color correction, which is the one I use. You're going to click download preset. And yes, it is only a uh, text file, and you're going to save that wherever you want. I'm going to save it to the desktop. And as you can see, it says Sweet Effects version 1.4. So that's what you're going to download. Uh, click download manually get one of the normal servers unless you have a premium account I'm going to do that to the desktop too so now that you have both of these things first you want to go to your main game folder in this case it's Battlefield 3 so we're going to go to C program files 86 I'm going to go all the way down to origin games Battlefield 3 and then here's your uh, root folder. Now I already have it installed. As you'll see here, I already have the Sweet Effects folder and the files. But basically, what you want to do is open this zip file, and you're going to need 7-zip or WinRAR if you haven't have that already. And you're going to take all of these files and drag them into your main folder. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have them in there but that's what you're going to do. And then after that you have two ways of installing your preset. One of them is taking your preset here, copying it, and then putting it in the SweetFX presets folder right here. As you can see I already have it along with a few other ones that came with it. But you're going to paste it there. The next thing you want to do is click rename but don't actually rename it just copy the whole file name and then go down here back to the root folder then here you're gonna see a folder uh, file sorry called sweetfx preset.txt you wanna open that and then you're gonna see this line include and then in quotes it's going to basically direct sweetfx to the preset settings it's going to use. So as you can see I already have mine set up but um, before it would it would have said nothing but sweetfx settings.txt. Now what you want to do is basically redirect it to um, where you put the preset. So if you put it where I told you to which is sweetfx presets then that's exactly what you're going to type in in the quotations sweet effects slash presets slash and then you want to copy and paste the file name and then be sure to have that all in quotes and then you want to save that file and you're done you installed it yeah it's that easy and then there's the second way which might be a bit easier but uh, I haven't really some games don't work with this method personally for me, so I don't know. It might work for you. Second method is you open up the TXT file that you downloaded. So as you can see, you have all these uh, you know values here that you can change, but just don't touch any of them. Do Control A, select all of them, copy that, and then you're going to go to SweetFX Settings. Dot txt as as you can see 
if we go back up to the top here, these two basically look the same. So these are the default settings, which won't really change much. So what you want to do is copy the ones from your preset and then put them into the SweetFX settings.txt. Now I'm not going to do it because that might mess up my uh, settings, but you're going to overwrite everything. So that means take highlight everything in the SweetFX settings and then replace it with the preset. Now if you do that method then you have to leave this alone. You have to redirect it to um, SweetFX preset, not to the SweetFX presets and then the text file folder, just SweetFX underscore preset dot txt. So you're going to want to go like this. If you are using the copy paste method, because if you go back to this, then it will redirect you to the wrong file. So, once you've got that done, you start up your game. And usually, SweetFX will already be turned on, but in case it isn't, you're going to press the scroll lock key. This will toggle SweetFX on or off. And it doesn't take a long time, it's an instant switch because it's basically like it, it's an injector. So that's all you have to press, and then that's it. So you can you have a whole library of presets for many different games right here. As you can see, there are around 20 of them for Battlefield 3. And this is only on the official website. There are probably way more out there that you can find on forums. And there's over 20 pages of different games that this is supported for. Now, note that uh, some games do require like a bit of a different installation method. Just because of the way they're coded, I guess. So, uh, try to check in with the game and sweet effects see if it's compatible or if you have to tweak anything to make it work but in general all of the uh, presets here will just work fine if you just install it regularly and install the preset regularly so thanks for watching this is active pudding I'll see you next time